do not interact. Yeah. Every time Pac-Man does the hydrant, I go into the settings. I'm pretty sure I turn pause off. But then it's on when he just does the hydrant. I'm like, all right, bro. I heard a lot of setups of Riptide were actually oh on point nine in some pool. So, you know, we yeah. got to get some consistency out here. And speaking of consistency, we got to act. Yes, Riptide. Yeah, that would, that, apparently that was a big problem at Riptide. But still not confirmed. <laughs> I don't want to go too far. It that was confirmed. a big one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of consistency, we hope you didn't get sick of Wii Fit Trainer. We got another one on screen for you guys right here. If there's any Pac-Man player on the damn planet that knows this matchup better than anybody, it is this man right here. Yeah. We actually just saw X Senpai do something really interesting earlier. He was right below the hydrant when he, when uh, Sinji shot it down. And he just did his up tilt with Wii Fit. And if you hit the hydrant, it deactivates the, the, the hitbox. So you're able to kind of just not get hit by it if you're in a scenario like that. I'm so sorry. I was just job. laughing. I was laughing at the melon. Oh, you yeah. know, sometimes you just gotta like run in, you know, like mix up your opponent as to how you're gonna control space. Nah, I'm gonna have this projectile literally just do it for me. Yeah. It's crazy, man. You know, Pac Man with the bonus fruit definitely strong. And speaking of strong, X Senpai out the gate looking even stronger than Sinji right now. 107% yeah. And Arsen on, this Pac -Man. on deck. But, you know, Pac Man's a little, he's a little heavy, man. That guy does not die. My guy refuses to die. Why, man? Oh, actually runs out of the Arsen right there in the middle of it. Gonna back up. Recognizing that he didn't have that insanely positive mechanic anymore. And he's gonna start lobbing these projectiles again. If there's any character that can, you know, actually deal with Pac-Man in this way, we for trainer is definitely up there. Character already forces you to not interact so much with that hydrant. This character, when we fit, not only has a lot of stuff that hits on both sides, also has the Arsene, like you mentioned, and has projectiles to boot, so you don't gotta yeah. interact with Pac-Man yourself. Imagine having Arsene and Charge Shot. Couldn't be me, bro. Yeah. All right, and Sinji doing an awesome job staying alive to 200%. We're going to see a lot of this for this set, man, because I, luckily this is a best of three because we would be here for literally 20 minutes. Like, Sinji will hang on to this stock forever. And there you go. I mean, almost taking – he might even take stock first even though he was at 100% deficit earlier. Oh, that's a big mistake. You, you don't want to hit the Hydrant when Pac-Man's that close to it. That's what he wants. And then you did a neutral get up into the bell and got hit by that nice little ghost right into the blast zone. And, and look at how the rolls are reversed now. You got the first Sinji stock. Sinji with max rage and taking the end of a stock lead. You got the first stock. Yep. He's at 177. He got the first stock. He does not care. He's still not dead. Not that, was the weak hit of the, that was the weak hit of the soccer ball right there. Volleyball, whatever. Sport ball, whatever. <laughs> you know what it is. Finally getting it there. 200, like you said, actually. You called that before. Now we got ourselves a dead even game going on. Neutral reset. Projectiles going to clank with each other as they are one to do in this matchup. Neither of these two wanting to interact at first. But the ledge trap coming in from Sinji with the hydrant by the ledge. Didn't get the exact thing that he wanted, but was still able to get good damage regardless. That's Pac-Man to a T. He puts that hydrant down. He may not initially get the ledge trap that he wants, but it doesn't matter because he puts that down and he's like, the stage is now mine. I now yeah. have stage control all of a sudden with that. And in a game like Smash Ultimate, where approaching in general is very, very bad. Yep. That is worth its weight in gold. There we go. All right. Well. Okay, grabbing that bell again. Yeah, the strat, you gotta, you gotta, oh, and, Dead. oh, lord, yeah. getting caught by that. I mean, honestly, to be fair, he didn't neutral get up. He tried to do a different option, but the bell covers that other option. You, you, you have to wait there, or if you're Wii Fit, jump off the ledge and re-grab. Pac-Man can hit you for re-grabbing, but he's not necessarily going to kill you for it. Yes. So. Unless he gets that down there, which is very strong. Yes. But it is still a little bit, you have a little bit more time. And with Wii Fit, you have a few little mix-ups you could do. Um... But yeah, when that bell is on deck, man, you got to be really careful at the ledge. Mm -hmm. And man, we, we were really praising X Empire at the beginning of this uh, set, at the beginning of this game. But man, Sinji brought this all the way back, and he's, he's like, dude, I don't care, man. Sinji's one of the most ad adaptive players in the world. Not even just the he's Sinji's not the kind of player that. How do I describe this? Sinji's not the kind of player that really necessarily wants to force you to play his game besides the obvious. He puts the Hydrant down, and yeah, that sort of forces you to play his game for a little bit. And so when it comes to Sinji, he focuses his adaptation on how his opponent is actually playing around the Hydrant. You know what I mean? He puts that down, yeah. he knows you got to play around this, and it's not like a general go-to strategy that he has going in. He will adapt and do whatever he has to do to win. Sinji will time you out if he has to. He'll just fair train you off the level if he can do that as well when he finds that opportunity. I've never seen a player, or at very least too many Pac-Man players, not stick to a general game plan and instead just goes with the flow, reacts to what his opponent is going to do, adapts to how his opponent is playing around, and will play aggressive, defensive, however he has to do to win. Sinji's yeah. probably one of the most adaptable players I've ever seen if I'm being completely honest. Yeah. All right, now getting ledge trapped. 
and Sinji doing a lot of different options here. He, he tried to call out a jump earlier with back air, then he threw the apple. Let's see what he goes for this time. The cherry gonna hit your ledge hang. Oh, and getting grabbed. Oh, wow. Great reaction there. That would not have worked six years ago. Yeah, that grab is really good now. Yeah. Ooh, get, that, right. get out of my face. He just, he just kicked that ball and right back out. Man, yeah, this is X Senpai just had to go through like a, a, an Olympics level you know, triathlon to get off that ledge, man. Like, with minefields. Just so many, mine yeah, field. with minefields and sharks with laser beams on their head, man. Like, it's just, <laughs> there was like a million little, like, obstacles for him to get through, man. That's, she's fit. Look at this. But she's not fit enough to get through this obstacle. All he could have done was stand there and hold shield against the water. Damn. That was his only option. Hydrant, platform, covered. In front of you, running towards Pac-Man, apple in the face, covered. Yeah, Cindy's so really good at that scenario, man. And again, Neutral getting up into the, the bell. It's really tricky in that scenario. You have to kind of throw it's it, What's best is to throw out an aerial so you can catch the bell with an aerial. Um, it's actually a little bit more of a generous window than it might look because the, the bell is super scary. But if you get hit by it in the air, let's say you mess up the aerial or you mess mm -hmm. up the timing, you don't catch it. It's not Pac-Man's not necessarily going to kill you if he hits you with the bell in the air. You know, he wants to hit you with an F smash, like like so, right here. Get hit it, by man. that. You couldn't even drop ledge and air dodge through it, which would already have put you in a very bad position against Pac-Man that's just standing there. It's a ledge trap. Check this out. Let's get that Sonic. Yeah. Along. And you did. And that trampoline put him in the air, but it was not high enough. You know, like, if you if you get caught by that bell, like, really high in the air, and he does back air, his back air is pretty strong. But, again, his F smash is literally going to kill you. So Lingers, too. Yeah. And right now we have both of these guys just uh, trying to decide on the stage. Yeah, thinking about I their think life X choices. I think X-Senpai is like, he's looking at his notes. He's like, all right, I, I got hit by a bell. That's going to work on town and on Smashville and on FD. All right, I don't know. I think he's thinking about a way to just make Sinji not play Pac-Man. Like, I think he's working on, like, some sort of Mensa mind power thing to get going first. Oh, no, look, you saw him shake his head at the music choice. He straight up just shook oh, his head and like the new song choice that was wolf. coming in. My guy's switching oh. to Wolf for sure. He's picking the Wolf theme. And Wolf is a very common counter pick and against Pac-Man. Trainer. And no, he's doubling down. <laughs> he's doubling down on the Wii Fit. No, I mean, I do, I, he was literally just counter picking the music. Yeah. Like was. he was he was like he was the power up I need. <sighs> I love this is my favorite Star Fox song. It's this, is, this is the Brawl remix, which is even better. Great. One of the few remixes from Brawl that I think is like actually Really, really great. Yeah, I love the Lilat. Uh, uh, what's the word? I love Space Armada. Myself, I love like, that's the main what? like re the main remix that Brawl had. All for of Lilac the Cruise. all of the the Star Fox for remixes Venom. were great for Brawl, but some of the Zelda ones. Sheesh. Sakurai right hates Zelda. We we talked about this many times. He is not a fan. Cringe. Yeah, ain't no Zelda fan on uh, ain't no Zelda character on screen quite yet though. We saw some earlier, but now we got instead some two patented zoners of New York. Oh, the platform just saved every bit of bacon that you had there, XN Pine. Same business as before. Damn near 100% of, 100 uh, deficit, or lead, I should say, on the part of X Senpai right here as it slowly got brought back. So my question is, is how exactly is X Senpai going to adapt to Sinji right here? Because the way that he kept dying was just to that bell. Kind of makes you think that's what he's got to focus yeah. on playing around. But See, and that's one of the things. Like, this is a replay of game one where people have a really big stock lead versus Pac-Man, and they kind of just assume that, like most zoners in the game, it's like, all right, well, you know, once I have to force him to approach me, it's a lot easier to fight him. But it's like, dude, Pac-Man has hands. This man will approach you. He doesn't care. He had the Stinky had the Galaga. Now he's just running off doing down air. Again. That guy's snake right now. Look at that. Just bouncing him up and down, forcing him into a ledge trap again with the trampoline right there. There's no other character that really does stuff like that, which is why Pac-Man is oh, so commonly to tilt you boy. and not prepared for the tech. Is X Senpai yeah. oh standing by the ledge a little See, bit to get light animation? That's a taunt. Yeah. One of the things that we're seeing here is that X Senpai is really good at the beginning when it's like, okay, we're both on an even playing field and I can force you to approach. But once Sinji adapted to that and he's showing you that he can deal with the phase shift and approach you, Senpai was running away to kind of keep doing the same game plan and you can't do that. You have to fight Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. He's running up to you. You need to engage with this guy. Yeah. He's got the mitts on, bro. It's Look at that. It's so hard too, my friend. It's so hard, especially with face. that forward air. Especially with that forward air. Super duper positive yeah. as well, man. It's a difficult thing to deal with. Once you get hit by that, it combos into itself like nothing. It's like this character is a zoner, but he's also kind of a Mario and also kind of a ZSS in that sense as well, man. That's Smash Ultimate to a T, ladies and gentlemen. The zoner's got hands in this yeah. game, man. You actually 
It doesn't make any sense, but it's just the way it is at this point. This guy has the mitts ready, bro. And it's like, look, he, he, he's fine to ledge trap you without any projectiles. He shouldn't have just ledge trap you. Oh, and the bell came out. Never mind. I was definitely wrong. I thought there was no projectile on deck, and he's like, bro, I literally have an ace up my sleeve. He knows how to hide it. There is yeah. a way that, like, if you get it and you, uh, you get hit out of it, you can cancel, uh, yeah. you can hold shield or whatever, and you actually hide it behind you for a little bit before you can see it. That's tricky. There's some characters who have, like, little hidden tech like that where they can hide, like, their full charges of, like, yeah. whatever chargeable attacks they have, and Pac-Man is no stranger to if that. If anything, they need to make the key the mid-charge and the bell the final one. Yeah. When he has the bell, he should be blinking white. I need to be able to see that. I, I don't even care about the key, man. The key is not as scary as the bell. The bell is, like, insanely scary. The bell is honestly... It's the big one. It's, like, it's part of his win yeah, condition, honestly. Yeah. It's like the, you know, the chest in chest, the, the horse, it, it goes in an L direction. Like, yeah. it moves weird. That's the bell. The bell, you're never really sure. Like, wait, is it going to hit me here? And it's like, yeah, the angle is going to line up, dude. You're going to get hit by that L. And then you're going to hold the L right after that. Prepared to tech it that time, though, is X Senpai teching that hydrant off of the level, putting another wall down again, oh and continuing my. this onslaught. You're not dead here because he has no choice but to go back to the ledge. Cannot drop down quick enough in order to snipe out the uh, snipe out the trampoline of Pac-Man right there, which is a very cheeky and effective way to kill him if you ever are eventually able to get Pac-Man that low below the stage. Oh my and goodness, just, you shreked yourself. Oh, people just walk right into that man. And our Sen on deck. We're gonna see what he gets out of it. Can he milk this Arsene and bring this back? Maybe. I don't know. Pac-Man is not not afraid. Just that forward air. not afraid. Did you see how he extended the he, he extended the hitbox of that forward air with the ball? Right. Oh my goodness gracious. And stuff. the I mean, key to your heart, my this, guy. This is a horror game, dude. This, this Smash Ultimate is a horror game. Lots of scary things coming out. You got a bell, which is like a vampire. It just sucks out your blood for a minute before you get hit by the giant killing blow. You got like What's like the fast one? Is there something fast in like old horror lore? That's the bell. I uh, thought oh the bell, the my key, God. my mistake. Let's take a look at that one more time. Just relentlessly pressuring with that forward air. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. That's completely safe on block. And then Charge right in the back. Right there, boy. Kingdom Hearts. Damn. You're dead. Sinji, winner's uh, semis as seated as he's going to go up. Oh, what is there to say, my friend? He knows that matchup to the letter. To yeah. the letter. To the fruit. I mean, it's a wee fit. He knows it to the number, bro. Ah, <laughs> you got me. I was trying.